on a beautiful day in Nashville on the campus of Vanderbilt University from the oldest gym in the Southeastern Conference. CBS Sports presents the 14th ranked Kentucky Wildcats and the Vanderbilt Commodores. Return to basketball over, especially if you turn it over above the free throw line. Those are the ones that tend to lead out to run out. The Slither Young inside. Randall gobbles it up and over a pretty good defender in Siakam comes up with a deuce. That is Damian Jones. He was the 5A high school basketball player of the year in the state. Heavily recruited player. A lot of schools in the SEC were after this young man. Deciding on Vandy, I think he's going to be a special one for Kevin Stallings. Paulie Stein with a very nice touch inside. The sophomore from Northwest High School, Olathe, Kansas. The 6'10 freshman, Damian Jones, coming up with his fourth point right there with a good dive inside. At 16 the other night down in Tuscaloosa against Alabama. Long range shot is up and in. Aaron Henderson. Harrison puts it in. Not, and he's got to understand that and understand his importance to the team. Luke Cornett. He will shoot the three as a seven-footer. Loose inside, diving as Moats. It's loose and dug up by the Cats. And here comes Andrew Harrison the other way. Rod Odom is back on the floor for Vanderbilt, their top scorer, playing with a couple of fouls. Poitras. Randall chasing great hustle by Julius Randall. Yeah, how about just the force and the pace that he plays with the big fella. And see, that's all set up because of the great effort to go run down that loose ball. Or eight points, rather, against... Mississippi State, but he had the 14 rebounds. Hey. So that he had been in double figures every game. Another triple by Cornette will go. And once again, Andrew Harrison the other way, leading the break they want to run. They try to push the pace as often as they can. And Young coming off a double-double. And Andrew Harrison with a three right there. He's only shot 32% beyond the arc. A 13-2 Kentucky and run. Earlier in the week, he is number three right now in the Southeastern Conference in assists. And, and, and done a good job again. I, I hate the hard pointer, but just think about how good this team could be if they had all those pieces. But you can't cry over that spilled milk and see how they respond. And early on, I, again, I'm impressed. I knew that they would compete. They've done a great job. And Kevin Stallings with mixing those defenses, loading that block. Wow. <laughs> Julius Randle. That's a big time shot by Parker, who has really played well for Vandy here in this first half. He has to. In fact, they've all got to play well. Very small margin for error. A good looking drive by the slashing Aaron Harrison. Willis defending on the wing. Randle is going to watch Siakam. Parker. Nice ball rotation. And the triple by Moats will not go and here comes Kentucky once again Aaron Harrison to Randall the corner three can be inviting can it really Carly Stein with his second nice channel hook shot going through and Carly Stein he's kind of forgotten about sometimes offensively folks but don't let the smooth taste fool you they, they are dominating the glass but they have not been as dis disruptive defensively in the half court as they would like to be pulse on the three Jared Paulson, first team All-State from Wilmore, Kentucky. Yeah, it's, it's important. It's, you know, you want to play chess on the floor, not check. Jones, he's got six points and four boards. Paulson digging for it. Jump ball. Good entry pass. A lot of traffic. Jones with the left hand gets it back. And again, Kentucky digs it out of the hole. Yeah, but that's just, the, as a young player, just lacking the strength to create leverage offensively. And that is a payoff for Kentucky in transition. How about Jared Paulson? Came in one shot to his nine games played this season for the Wildcats. He's gone two of two, a couple of triples, and now he gives Kentucky their biggest lead of the first half. For Odom with the third foul, is it also now makes you tentative in the second half? Because if you have two fouls in the second, you can stay aggressive if you pick up a third. Jones tried to go in. Willie Cauley Stein was there. Here comes Aaron Harrison. James Young. Boy, the bigs have been fun to watch this afternoon for both teams. You know, and, and you can see that's the, the footwork and the athleticism that they have. Just 
impressive to see. Like this guy right here, diving in, count the two and a foul. Willie Cauley-Stein, the sophomore. But Willie Cauley-Stein here, just with the ability to put it on the floor, take the contact. As I said earlier, when you have guys who aren't relied upon to score, make shots, it makes them better basketball players. And let's see if he can have an impact from a defensive standpoint. Young to Poitras to Johnson. Right on the doorstep, once and twice it goes in. Creates two turnovers for his team. Again, no stat for that, but what an impact he makes on both ends. It's Young. Oh, what a sweet stroke and a triple from outside. And how about the savvy of Damian Jones? He cleared space for Fuller. Kept Macaulay Stein from being able to contest that layup. Young again. Andrew Harrison to the hole. Oh, and a foul. The long rebounds, we talked about it. When you go zone, your guards have to come back to the elbows. And that's going to be the challenge. You know, he, he came in with such hype and such great expectation, and deservedly so, but he's also got to understand that he's got to be the table set. Like right there. Yeah, there you go. Keeping done. your guys engaged. When you keep them engaged, they play for you. With those four fouls, they're just finding ways to get it done. And a lot of times, Win or lose in this game if you're Vandy, this could set you up for the rest of the season because you're finding out what you're capable of against arguably the best team in the conference. Poitras. He was coming off the baseline and goes up hard. Who's got to have going to have the feel? And that's what they've done much better the last two games here to start conference play. It's Andrew Harrison. He puts in a three. And he has not backed down one one aisle. Freshman Damian Jones now with 14 points and 10 rebounds. That's Aaron Harrison. The Harrison twins with a couple of triples. Uh, I hadn't seen anybody that explosive in this game thus far in the end. Willie Cauley Stein on the doorstep in two. And that's what they've done. And right now, 10-point game, seven and a half to go. That opportunity is there. Andy has five players that have played 21 minutes or more. Kentucky has four. Harrison. That's Aaron Harrison who knocks it in, the oldest of the twins. At Kentucky, but his growth will be there. And that's kind of the, 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 the mindset and the approach Kevin Stallings is going to have. He's not going to get the one-and-done guy. Pointless. He got inside. Jones right there. But even though they're 14th, when they go on the road, it's like playing the number one team in the country. Mm. And so they're going to get their opponents best. It's the Super Bowl for everybody a steal. Willie Cauley Stein. Wow, how about the Woo. hands? We talk about that lateral quickness, and looks like Ashley Judd was happy with that delivery. Although I, I would think you could deem someone able to go out and, and, and try to play the free throw game, especially knowing how poorly Kentucky executes from the line. Oh, they get it to Coley Stein with a beautiful lob by Aaron Harrison. And if you're Vandy now, 53 seconds, you got to get it up the floor quick. Threes would be ideal. Right. And right there, Poitras, the steal, the deuce, and just like that at 10 points. More people watch the NFL on CBS during the regular year than any other network. And they're getting ready right now at our studios in New York with late-breaking news and terrific analysis. That's at 7.30 tonight with the pregame, 8 o'clock Eastern, with the kickoff. The Colts, the Patriots on CBS. And then tomorrow, it's Denver taking on a San Diego Charger team and here this afternoon John Calipari brings his Wildcats into Nashville and comes up with the 12th win of the season their first true road win the 14th ranked Kentucky Wildcats win it 71 62 they go to 12 and 3 we come back with interviews to Memorial Gymnasium right after this